Hi Cancer, welcome to your October 2023 Love and Relationships reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Cancer, thank you for your patience in waiting for this reading. I know I'm a little bit late. This reading will be good for middle to late October going into November. I have been moving, relocating. A lot of you are aware of that if you follow me here on the channel so I thank you for your patience while I have been transitioning so let's take a look here Cancer I'm tapping into an energy of someone that's around you physically or energetically it could be a friend family member spouse potential lover lover anyone really that uh, that's coming into your life so Cancer let us take a look please do take a moment to press that thumbs up button I thank you for all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes. Appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in. And again, thank you for your patience, Cancer. If you're a newcomer, welcome to the channel. I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that you subscribe at some point. Uh, let's take a look here, guys. I want to have a look, Cancer, first at your energy. Now, this can be reversed if you're cross-watching for a Cancer. Let's see, Cancer's energy for month of October. Ooh, the artist. What kind of artist do you consider yourself here, Cancer? How you want to express yourself. I feel that there, there's a, a limitation there, something that could be a little bit frustrating. You feel like you're, you, you don't feel like you're able to express yourself in this in this creative way let's see cancer's person of interest please for the month of october okay i'm going to take them both because they did come out together we have advocate and companion so someone who is advocating for you someone who is on your side a companion of yours a friend family member, someone who is a close, a close friend, there's loyalty here, there is uh, an energy of unselfishness, someone who is um, sticks by you no matter what. Okay, and they're uh, inspiring you, Cancer, to express yourself in this more artistic way. Now let, let's get the connecting energy between the two of you. <coughs> It could be like a muse-like energy, but I feel it's more than that. Uh, it feels more... Okay. The Dragonfly Mermaid. Now, it's interesting <coughs> that you've drawn mermaid energy, Cancer, because I always associate Cancer with uh, with mermaids and, and Pisces as well. Scorpio, not, not so much when it comes to the water signs, but certainly Cancer and Pisces. So some of you have those signs, both signs, in your chart. There's an energy here of um, news, news, sharing news. Okay, someone could be sharing news with you, you could be sharing news with someone else. High Priestess in the past. This person has... Um, be a little bit difficult to get to know, uh, more of a mystic energy. Uh, this is someone who is an advocate, a friend, uh, someone who will be loyal, someone who will stick by you. This is very positive energy. This is someone who isn't expecting to be given anything or to receive anything for uh, for their benevolence i'm also getting that it's it's a little bit like um we see the picture of a uh, a cleric here or a um, more of a hierophant like energy but i'm actually picking up more of a nurse like energy around this picture uh, someone who takes care of self and others without expectation uh, it, it is a beautiful energy now this person with the two of pentacles i feel is finding balance in their life 
Uh, this does feel like companionship, Cancer. So it could be you that they're finding balance with. Six of Pentacles there, look at that, more balance. There's an energy here of give and take, generosity and receptivity. Hmm. It's, it's very beautiful energy. I don't know how to describe it other than to say that this person feels like they're in the flow of life, like things are happening in very positive ways because of this person's generosity, what they have given to others, what they continue to do for others, and also a matter of healing, something that they've healed within themselves, something that was imbalanced in the past, or broken even. The energy around the masculine with the nine of pentacles in reverse is a little bit of jealousy and envy that I'm picking up. A feeling here of not being enough, not having enough. This is this is very benevolent energy. It feels like somebody who will give, will give a little, give what they have. Um, don't expect a lot in return. Whereas this, this masculine energy feels more. <coughs> it, it feels more like someone who is more focused on the material, material gain. Uh, this is someone who leads a more stripped back life, a more basic life, um, has has less but uh, feels like they have more. This is somebody who would have more but feel like they have less. Um, I hope you know what that... It's a little bit of greed, a little bit of... Um, yeah, it, it feels a little bit like greed. It feels a little bit like envy that I'm picking up around this masculine energy. Now, it's not male or female, so take it as it resonates. We've got one person here. I feel it's more the feminine energy that has um, healed something within themselves and imbalance, whatever that was. They are now open and receptive to being completely in the flow of their life good things are happening for them this masculine energy it feels more blocked because they're still very focused on material gain over over more higher minded pursuits let's put it that way judgment is the strength The fact is that this energy that I'm picking up around this feminine is a non-judgmental energy. You know, mine is not to judge, I'm getting that. It's, it's not for me to judge others. It's not for me to judge others. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's all about advocacy, doing things pro bono, doing things because it's the right thing to do. Uh, someone who will work for charity, work for nothing, because they know it's the right thing to do, versus somebody who keeps it to themselves. And we have the lovers up here. So so I do feel that we're talking about uh, potential. Either you have been lovers with this person, Cancer, or you continue to be, or it's somebody who wants to be lovers uh, with you. But the challenge is that, that you see life very, very differently. The hope around this person is the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I get them being an advocate for justice, um, standing up against uh, right and wrong. Uh, having a very clear sense of right and wrong, standing up for the little guy, and not letting people be bullied, taken advantage of. And the fear is the Eight of Cups, fear of abandonment. Okay, so this person has in the past conquered a fear of abandonment. So that's the imbalance that they were able to free themselves of. Wow, that's brilliant, Cancer. So whoever this is, I feel like they have really grown, progressed, 
I think that they were for a long period of time in a toxic cycle of fear associated with a fear of abandonment but this person seems to have conquered that and as a result of them doing the hard work on that really looking at themselves really healing knowing themselves knowing what's triggered them knowing what triggers them to react in a negative way um, they've really taken the time to to get to know themselves in a way which has led them to deal with the vicissitudes of life, the ups and downs. Whereas in the past this person wouldn't have been able to handle rough patches or would have been triggered in some way whenever they hit a rough patch. I feel that now they're in the flow, they're, they're more dealing with the rough patches as well as the good the good the good things that happen quite quite um, interchangeably it does it doesn't feel like a huge traumatic jump you know um, like the highs of life to the dramatic lows no it feels like st stability keeping things peaceful uh, keeping things in a non chaotic kind of life a non-chaotic life okay and this person is is very vigilant uh, very self-conscious of keeping it that way okay now cancer we do have the seven of cups in reverse here they're, they're keeping it real uh, they they know what's real what isn't uh, this is not someone who is led by temptation or fantasy no, this is a realist we're talking about here. This is someone who has, who has dealt with real challenges in life as, um, and knows what it takes now to, to keep their life stable. What they're trying to avoid is the Five of Swords. They're trying to avoid people who create challenges for them where there doesn't need to be. You know, they don't, they're really making sure that they don't fight battles that aren't their own. Um, this person is willing to walk away from anything that's going to create drama or chaos in their life. They're making choices to keep situations and people in their life cancer who don't bring them drama or chaos. Um, they're willing to come in and willing to go to bat for anyone who is going through an injustice but they want to make sure that who they go to bat for is is worthy of their charity worthy of their time uh, they certainly don't want to go to bat for anyone who's creating their own drama um, no the, this person can see the difference between someone who's gotten themselves into trouble by doing something out of ego or selfishness or greed and who really deserves their time and effort okay now around them we've got the Empress now that's their energy yeah there's a lot of growth here this person seems to be in a good position in life uh, they have overcome a lot of difficulties and challenges to get themselves to this this stage where things are looking pretty good health wise I feel that they're very focused on maintaining good health and security other people are feeling left out left behind the five of pentacles cancer that may for some of you that may be you like I get a little bit like the starving artist energy someone who doesn't make a lot of money perhaps uh, doing what they uh, what they do whatever artistic bent that is could be music uh, writing painting whatever it is next action that they're going to take is the ace of pentacles so they're following the money trail here uh, keeping things stable when it comes to their money uh, they may even be starting a business uh, focusing on a, a, a new job and what's hidden here is death in reverse <coughs> so if this person has been struggling with some health related issues in the past 
I do get that this person is someone who is overcoming that, uh, becoming more uh, healthy, more, uh, certainly their finances are becoming more healthy. This person may have recently received some kind of payout or an opportunity which, which led them to have quite a bit of um, financial security around them. I do get financial independence, maintaining that and not wanting anything to come in and affect their their life, their security, their health, their well-being. Now Cancer, okay look at you. Now you're coming in here as the energetic match to this person, male or female, we've got the Emperor and the Empress on the board. So it seems like the two of you here I get stronger together. I get the two of you being quite boss energies in your own way. Two of you may have your own companies. You may be the type of people who are entrepreneurial in nature, work better as a leader than part of a team. Okay, interesting. Yeah, there's a little, it's a little bit like um, Cancer, you want to, to be like this person or you want to emulate this person. But you may feel that you don't have enough, you don't have enough uh, money. Um, but it may be that you actually do Cancer. I would say take a look. Take a look because some of you actually have more money than you realize or you may feel like you need more. But perhaps you don't. Uh, some of you could actually do more with less. I'm getting that. Uh, just how much is enough. Some of you may have to emulate this person in terms of uh, paring down, uh, living a simpler life. Uh, some of you are challenged to perhaps find ways to um, stop spending or commit yourself to a budget. Yeah, and this person seems to be advocating for change, advocating for you to be your best self. Um, they are some kind of friend around you or companion. You may see this person as more than that. Cancer, you may see this person as your future empress or emperor. You may want uh, this person to commit to you in some way in the future, but you feel like you don't have enough. Or, but Spirit is asking you to reconsider that, uh, to rethink, because I feel that this person isn't looking for someone who is completely the same as them materially, but uh, they are looking for someone who is goal-oriented, ambitious, someone who is challenging themselves is motivated to grow and to and to and to to live a, uh, a positive uh, peaceful life without the need or struggle to be more hmm, cancer let's let's see where all this is going let's get some tea leaves out I want to start with that high priestess energy in the past Okay, I feel that there's been gossip about this person, people talking about this person without really knowing who they are. Two of Pentacles. Slowly but surely this person is, is getting ahead. I feel it has been quite slow for this person. Six of Pentacles. An opportunity, yeah. This person has had a door open for them recently. A, f a windfall, some kind of uh, outcome here where they've received some some assets or some money. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it, it's it's an energy here of um, seeing someone not as a material asset, but as more of a spiritual connection. As someone to guide, to advocate, um, not as a material. Yeah, I get, I get the word asset. Not seeing this person as a financial asset, but seeing them as the person that they are, underneath the, uh, underneath, 
Uh, this person may dress well, they may have nice things, uh, you may have uh, judged this person to be a certain way, but you find out actually they're not. So this is someone who values health, growth, uh, a spiritual life, um, having less. You may have thought that this person was a gold digger, someone who was just after money, uh, but they are not. So this is someone who is um, looking more at, at life as an as a extension of what they can put into it, not, not what they can receive from others. Now judgment Wow, yeah, the tower. This this feels like um, a sudden revelation, an understanding of a person around you, that they're not what you thought they were. The lovers. This is, this is very romantic energy with the moon. I get under a moonlit sky. Uh, being lovers with this person. Uh, seeing this person as your romantic partner. Seven of Wands, we've got um, someone here has, um, I feel it's the man, but um, it could be a woman, of course. Someone with blonde, grey, or white hair. <coughs> yeah, standing up, being in your corner, fighting for justice, making sure that people are treated well. Um, this person may see you as someone who has been dealt a rough hand in life. The horse, I feel that this person, ha their, their journey in life has been to, uh, to learn and grow and to conquer this fear that they had in the past, which seems to be about fear of loss, fear of abandonment, fear of um, leaving something behind. We have the gavel. It does feel like making a decision. This person may have had a lot of choice. Uh, they may have, um, some of those choices may have been real or fanciful. I feel that they've made some kind of choice here. They're, they have a goal which seems to be more about um, health and well-being for this person. They're avoiding anyone who's coming in later in the year with any kind of um, narcissistic energy, uh, somebody who wants to control or manipulate them, uh, they will walk away rather than engage with anyone who tries to bring them drama, bring them problems. We get that this person is feeling very grateful uh, for their good fortune at the moment. Other people, we have uh, hard work, yeah. I feel that other people are having to put in the hard work. Uh, they may even see this person as someone who has um, been given an easy road, but I, I don't feel that that's the case. I actually feel that this person is someone who has struggled a lot. Uh, I feel that the journey, rather than being short, has been a long one for this person. Uh, they've had to overcome, conquer many obstacles along the way. Um, other people are also struggling around them. Uh, one of them may be you, Cancer. Yeah, I feel like this person was dissatisfied with their life. They've made a change. They, they have um, made a choice to, to change, to... Uh, to take an opportunity to uh, to start fresh to start over and we have cancer you may actually decide to do something similar in your life uh, we do have um, December and February here so it could be sometime between those those months where you decide to take action in your own life here cancer So I would say you have to do you have to do something for yourself. What do I mean that? Um, it, it feels a little bit like um, 
I'm getting a warning here, but it's it's not a warning about this person. It's actually a warning about this fair man. Whoever's resonating as that, this this blonde or white-headed man, somebody who is not to be trusted. Hmm. Guys, I feel it's this emperor energy. It, it's somebody here who is willing to... I'm getting the energy of like stabbing someone in the back to get ahead. And it could be something that happens in December. There could be somebody here who stabs someone in the back to get ahead. I feel like they want to be with this, this empress energy. They see them as someone who has great fortune, good fortune. So it's kind of like stepping over someone or stepping, pushing someone aside to bring in this empress who they see as their companion, their partner for life. Ooh. Won't be for everyone, of course, just for some of you. For the majority of you, this is someone that's coming in that's, that is going to be a, a soulmate, a partner. But there's just this little bit of a warning about stepping over people or throwing people under the bus here to to get ahead on on the way to this companion this this life partner making sure that you do things the right way uh, don't do anything don't get involved in anything that is not on the up and up I feel like if, if you come across anyone here, Cancer, if it's you, uh, you, you're being urged to not be around anyone who breaks the law, who does things on the down low. No, keep, keep things on the up and up. Keep things on the up and up. And be sure to look behind the curtain. Uh, background checks you know if you don't know these people very well or this person very well seems to be somebody coming in for you in the latter half of the year cancer for my cross watchers it could actually be a cancer here that you're being asked to investigate to look into there's kind of this two-faced energy around them someone that you can't fully trust and perhaps has even gossiped about this high priestess empress in the past in a negative way and now seeing them as someone who is uh, an opportunity an opportunity oh gosh guys seeing someone as an opportunity again won't be for everyone but just for some of you will know to be on the watch for someone coming in Possibly in December, someone could, it could even be a return of someone from the past. Uh, sometime between December and February, somebody coming back here. So, but this person is not anyone to be trusted. But I feel that that's a third energy, guys. It's, it's not this person we're talking about, and for a lot of you, it's not you. Unless you're a cross watcher out there. So I feel it's a, some kind of third energy that's coming in here. It's a two-faced friend. And it seems to be a return. It could even be. It could even block this new opportunity, or block, block this new person from coming in by doing something that goes against justice. Uh, that is unfair. Uh, let's see here, Cancer. I'm going to get an uh, advice card for you. Advice for Cancer, please, when it comes to this situation. Advice for Cancer. What can you do to make a difference? Yeah, I feel that this person that we're talking about here is, is someone who makes sure that, you know, that someone who advocates for justice I keep getting that advocating for justice making sure that everything is right and any kind of injustice is upsetting 
Uh, anyone who, yeah, I, I kept being careful of being backstabbed. Somebody's going to be backstabbed here, but I don't, I can't tell exactly who it is. I hope it's not this person that wants to make a difference in their life and other people's life is advocating for justice. It could be a companion of this person who is not on the up and up. Uh, trickster energy, two-faced energy. I am getting this third energy, so it's not this person, it's somebody that's attached to them. It's someone that's attached to them, it could be a husband, a, a wife, a lover, uh, could even be like a father. It's a third energy. <coughs> A third energy. Now, when it comes to this dragonfly mermaid, it could be a symbol of something returning. It could even be someone that you considered was out of your life. Let's see. I'm going to pull a card on that, actually. Let's pull a card on the dragonfly mermaid. Ten of Wands. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel it, it's this person who's had a pretty rough time. Uh, I feel that they've struggled, they've, uh, they've, they've climbed a mountain, they've gotten there. They seem to have been given this opportunity as a result of it. Yeah, it, it just keeps telling me that. So I feel that there's some other third energy here that's seeing this person as someone to yeah I get an opportunity an opportunity someone who wants to to, to be with someone because of what they have or what they can provide um, yeah a little bit a little bit of a warning there cancer so I'll leave it there and wish you all the very best. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or you can go to my Etsy store and uh, schedule a Skype reading. Please do take a moment to press that thumbs up button, share me on your social media, and if you are a newcomer, I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you for watching Cancer. Please take care and bye for now.